geology is the science of the seasons. It's about noting the date of when things happen. So in autumn, that might be the first leaf tint or the leaves beginning to fall. And what we can do is look at those dates over a long period of time and see how climate change is affecting the seasons. Autumn leaves changing colour is probably one of the most obvious signs at this time of year. But have you ever wondered why that happens? Most of the year leaves are green and we all learnt at school that that's because of a pigment called chlorophyll. And what happens at this time of year is that the leaf starts to break down the chlorophyll and it's not replaced. And underneath that are other pigments that have been there all year but have been previously hidden. And that's caused by a pigment called carotene. It's the same colour you find in carrot and it gives us the beautiful oranges and yellows that we see at this time of the year. The red colour you start to see in a leaf, that's a bit special. That's just produced in years where you get lovely warm sunny days and cool but not freezing nights. So that's a special colour that we don't necessarily see every year. When we think about autumn, there's another beautiful sign and that of course is ripe berries. And I've got beautiful blackberries here, that wonderful black sort of burgundy colour, which you also find in elderberries. And of course there are lots of red berries you find at this time of year, hawthorn, holly and rowan. As well as the changes we see to trees and shrubs in the autumn, our bird population changes too. Species like swift, swallows and house martins wisely depart further south and they're replaced by some of the winter migrants, including red wings and fieldfares who are members of the thrush family. And of course we have our faithful birds that stay with us all year and that's much loved species like robins and blackbirds. We think autumn is the best time of year and did you know it's also the start of the tree planting season? The Woodland Trust aims to plant 64 million trees over the next 10 years and you can help us do it. You can also go and visit your local wood and try some foraging or maybe record the signs of the seasons. There's so much to do at this time of year.